are a lot of great places to live in Hampton Roads. If you have a scheduled move, or maybe you're just considering coming to this area, sit back and relax. We have a special about the city of Norfolk. A little later, we'll reconnect and I'll give you more information on how we can help you in your journey here to Hampton Roads. Norfolk has a long history that dates back to colonial America. What would become Norfolk was claimed in 1619 as part of the Virginia colony. Adam Thorogood was granted a large land holding in 1636 and later declared the area New Norfolk County. Norfolk became a city in 1705 and has grown ever since. Fast forward to today and you won't be able to tell where Norfolk ends and Virginia Beach starts. The city's border with Chesapeake works the same way. Hampton Roads is one big conglomeration of cities that have grown together, but there are some things that make Norfolk unique. Norfolk boasts the biggest true downtown area in the region. Norfolk is also home to Norfolk Naval Station, the largest naval base in the world. There are over 80,000 active duty military personnel attached to it, making it one of the largest concentrations of armed forces in the United States. But you want to know about great places to live, right? Generally speaking, Norfolk has older housing stock and a lot of those homes have been well kept. Commuting can be tough depending on where you're headed, but if you're stationed here or if you're in the medical field, commuting in town can be a lot easier than coming in from Virginia Beach, Chesapeake, Portsmouth, Suffolk, or the peninsula. We checked in with Niche.com to see how they have rated and ranked the neighborhoods in Norfolk. They compile an overall rating based on factors including home values, property taxes, home ownership rates, housing costs, and real estate trends. Included in their scores are ratings for public schools, crime, education level, nightlife, family friendliness, diversity, health and fitness, and commute. One of the top neighborhoods is Ghent. They've split it up into East Ghent, West Ghent, North Ghent, and Ghent, but locals generally don't split it up like that. West Ghent is almost purely residential and on the west side of Hampton Boulevard. When most locals think of Ghent, they think of the Colley Avenue and 21st Street corridors. There, you'll find a lot of shops and restaurants, including some quirky ones. The housing stock is mostly older, mid-rise apartments, co-ops, and condos, though the freestanding homes are usually stately and grand. From Niche.com, Ghent gets an overall grade of A+, mostly to being family-oriented. It's nightlife, it's diversity, and health and fitness since there are a lot of bike paths and the area is friendly to runners. The public schools here get a B minus and there are a lot of private school options including Norfolk Academy, Norfolk Christian, the Williams School and St. Patrick Catholic School. There are a surprisingly low number of homes with children. West Ghent ranks highest for children in the home at 24 percent otherwise the segments of Ghent, East Ghent and North Ghent score at around 13 percent for homes with younger children. Niche.com also notes that a majority of Ghent's residents are renters. In West Ghent, 54% of the residents own their own home. The website also states, many young professionals live in Ghent and the residents tend to be liberal. Just down Hampton Boulevard from Ghent and West Ghent are the neighborhoods of Larchmont and Edgewater. Just as with Ghent, most locals think of Larchmont and Edgewater as one neighborhood. The neighborhood is split by Hampton Boulevard with Old Dominion University bordering it to the south. To the north, just a few miles up Hampton Boulevard, is Naval Station Norfolk. Here in Larchmont and Edgewater, there are fewer shops and restaurants, more parks, and a more suburban feel in the city. Runners and cyclists love to traverse the roads in and around the neighborhood, and there's a good family vibe overall. The average home value is $410,000 and rising, more than twice the national average. Nearly 70% of the residents of Larchmont and Edgewater own their homes. Due to the military and college community, homes in the neighborhood turn over more frequently. But you have to move quickly because there's a high demand for property here. Like most every other neighborhood in Norfolk, the homes are older but well kept. Almost 40% of the homes have children in the house. A bit of the housing closest to the campus of Old Dominion is dedicated to college students. Overall, that makes for a vibrant atmosphere of young adults, families, and empty nesters. Niche.com gives Larchmont Edgewater an A grade, noting that it's good for families, provides plentiful outdoor activities, and it scores well for commute, diversity, and jobs. The neighborhood does get dinged for cost of living, but here you get what you pay for. Move down the Lafayette River and you'll find the neighborhood of Colonial Place. 
Like Larchmont and Edgewater, Colonial Place is close to Ghent, downtown, and Naval Station, Norfolk. The median home value here is $265,000, so there's greater affordability. Many of the same positive attributes apply, including commute, outdoor activities, diversity, family friendliness, and health and fitness. The neighborhood is bordered on the north by the Lafayette River, so in addition to cycling and running, a lot of residents here enjoy kayaking and boating on the Lafayette. There are a significant number of renters in Colonial Place with roughly 54% of the residents owning their home. The housing stock is mainly older homes and some have been converted into duplexes or multifamily units. It's a little surprising that only 20% of the homes here have children in the house. Many of the residents are young professionals or empty nesters. Niche.com included Riverview with Colonial Place, so the scores for the neighborhood overall are combined. Riverview is bordered on the north and east by the Lafayette River, on the south by Lafayette Park and the Virginia Zoo, and on the west by Granby Street. Overall, Niche.com gives Colonial Place a grade of A-. All of the neighborhoods we've discussed so far are a mix of city and suburban feel. If it's city life you're looking for, living in the downtown and Freemason districts are about as close as you'll get here. It's not New York City, Philly, or Boston, but Norfolk's downtown does retain some of the character of its origins, while offering modern updates including high-rise living, lots of stores and restaurants, the waterfront along the Elizabeth River, and regular events in Town Point Park that draw people from all over the region. Freemason is defined as the area south of the Chrysler Museum, which sits on The Hague, an inlet of the Elizabeth River that provides a southern border for Ghent. The Hague is subject to flooding, at times with heavy rains combined with high tides, but the folks who live here are accustomed to that. Most of Freemason is south of Brambleton Avenue, bordered on the west and south by the river, and on the east by Bush Street. Cross Bush Street and you're into what is Norfolk's true downtown. Most of downtown is office buildings, restaurants, and nightclubs, with Waterside as the main visual attraction. Waterside was modeled after Baltimore's Harborside, and it was completely rebuilt and reopened in 2017. The housing stock in Freemason and downtown consists of a few remaining historic homes in Freemason, along with an abundance of townhomes, mid-rise condos, and high-rise condos. Most of the residents rent, 76% of them, and the median rent is just over $1,000, which is near the national average. What you usually sacrifice at that price is space. Also, in most of the downtown and Freemason district, you're going to need a parking permit, and you may pay for parking. This is city life after all. Parking is at a premium. You won't find as many families here. 25% of the homes in the neighborhood have school-aged children. Niche.com rates the downtown Freemason area as an A-, with the detractions being availability of housing, jobs, cost of living, and the public schools available to the residents here. Otherwise, nightlife, commute, and available outdoor activities pull the grade up. You're going to get plenty of conveniences, but deal with some inconveniences as well. Moving back to the suburbs, the North Shore neighborhood gets high scores. North Shore can be combined with Lock Haven, Algonquin Park, and Meadowbrook, since most of the housing stock is similar and the neighborhoods all border the Lafayette River across from Larchmont. There are several landmarks in the neighborhood, including the Norfolk Yacht and Country Club, which is on Hampton Boulevard, and the Hermitage, which is an estate that was established as a foundation providing a park, walkable gardens, youth camps, art exhibitions and studios, and a music room that hosts performances. North Shore is a favorite among military officers and enlisted because it's picturesque, yet close to Naval Station Norfolk. 55% of the residents own their home here, and 30% of the households have children in the home. The neighborhood provides excellent opportunities to enjoy the outdoors, from cycling, running, kayaking and boating. It ranks highly for commute, availability of housing, outdoor activities, and family friendliness. Overall, Niche.com gives the North Shore a grade of A-. Lakewood is another great neighborhood in Norfolk. The neighborhood sits on either side of Willowwood Drive and is comprised of Lakewood and Lafayette Shores. For the most part, Lafayette Shores is a planned development that was built out a few decades ago. The homes in Lafayette Shores are grand, with many of them being 3,000 square feet and up and listing well above the average home sale in Norfolk. 
Across Willowwood Drive, you have the more established Lakewood community that consists of homes mostly built in the 1950s, and they're well maintained. There are a lot of inlets on Wayne Creek that flow into the Lafayette River, so many homes here benefit from being waterfront property. Lakewood Park is a magnet for family reunions, softball, baseball, and flag football leagues, and there's a rowing center that was built for competitive and leisure rowing by teams and individuals alike. The City of Norfolk has a community center at Lakewood Park that offers classes in all sorts of pursuits, including dance, music, and art. 25% of the residents have children in the home, which is a bit of a surprise when you consider how many family-friendly opportunities there are here. 69% of the residents here own their own home, and the median home value is over $450,000. The Lakewood neighborhood gets high scores for family friendliness, health and fitness offerings, cost of living, and commute. One of the few downsides, if you call it that, is a lack of nightlife in the neighborhood. It's not far from Ghent and downtown, but Lakewood is almost exclusively suburban homes and parks. Overall, Lakewood gets a grade of B plus by niche.com. Did you know Norfolk has beachfront? In Ocean View and Willoughby, neighborhoods overlook the Chesapeake Bay, and they're close to Naval Station Norfolk and Joint Expeditionary Base Little Creek. West Ocean View gets high grades for affordable housing stock, with the average home valued at $231,000. 55% of the residents rent, and many of those rentals are older housing, including apartments. The neighborhood is seeing a bit of a revival, with lots being cleared of old homes and new homes being built. In Norfolk, there is virtually no new mass development. The city is built out. West Ocean View also gets good grades for outdoor activities, family friendliness, cost of living, and commute. When you slide over to East Beach, you're still near the bay or on the bay and much of the neighborhood is redeveloped. The homes are new construction with small lots and lots of amenities. Several marinas benefit from their position near the Little Creek Channel, which allows for quick access to the Chesapeake Bay and the Atlantic Ocean. In contrast to the rest of Ocean View, East Beach offers homes that tend to start at $600,000 and run up to and over a million dollars. Condo units here will range from 200,000 to 400,000 and up with new units demanding much higher prices. There are many more neighborhoods in Norfolk, and they all offer some combination of being centrally located in the center of the south side of Hampton Roads while offering the diversity and amenities of city living. Are you considering a move to Norfolk? Download our free guide at cell757.com. It has all the great information you need, like connecting your utilities or where to eat, those are great things to know. Just click the link here in the description. We look forward to having you here in Hampton Roads as our neighbor.